Welcome to the Imaginative Edge. In the previous video, we have covered the detailing part. We have added small details to the serum bottle. And today we will cover how to add label, texture, set lighting, camera and lastly the render settings. Okay. Before we start, I am offering something special. The first 50 subscribers on my Gumroad get to download any one of my 3D assets absolutely free. Link in the description. And when you click on the link, you will be redirected here. So just click on my profile, enter your email address and hit the subscribe button. And you can access all these amazing files. So let's start. Here first we will divide the portion where we want to add the label. So go to the edit mode and add a loop cut by pressing ctrl R. I am adding one more loop because I want to add label here. So go to the face select and select this portion and duplicate it. Then press P for the selection. Go to the object mode and select this duplicated part. Scale it up a little bit and you can see we have separated it out. Next will go to the UV editing and here you can see the selected portion on the other side by pressing the alt so let's start unwrapping it by pressing U and you can see there are three type of unwrapping and I'll go with unwrap angle based so you can see this is the angle based unwrapping this and you can press slash forward slash to focus on that particular selected object and then we'll go to the edge select and select those top or bottom edge loops like this and mark them as seam by pressing u you can see next you can see those red lines on the top and the bottom as it is circular in shape it is joining at a particular point so we will mark that line as seam 2 by pressing u and here it is next we are going to do is that we will unwrap it again by pressing u you can see the unwrapped portion on the left and we did it so that we will apply our label easily we will go to the shading and remove its material from here go to the material press this minus button and you can see they have removed that material then go to the new and add a new material to it we'll rename it as serum label okay zoom it a little bit now what we are going to do we are adding a an image texture to it so go to the add in the textures search for image texture and in a, another way you can just press shift a search for it and apply it like this now map this color to the base color and you can see this black portion over here black color and we're going to add uv grid to this so that we can ensure that it's unwrapped properly or not i'm giving it 2k resolution you can give any resolution you want and changing it to uv grid now apply and you can see the blocks over here back to the uv editing and for seeing them we'll go to the material preview and you can see the grids over here now it's unwrapped properly so select this and if i'm rotating you can see the blocks over here are also rotated yeah so next next what i'm going to do that i'm rotating this so that it will be easy to create the label of the same size so rotate this and then we have to export it 
then go to the UV and export the UV layout save it and open it in a software in which you want to create the label I am creating this in illustrator you can also use photoshop Corel I draw whichever whatever you like but make sure that your label will be of the same size as the UV layout otherwise it will create mess okay so I am resizing it you can see okay so this is the basic label which I have created and next save it and apply it over here go to the shading shading and open your saved image from here and apply it back to the UV editing and you can see that we have applied it properly it's all good then we'll go to the render view and here we are going to add lights material camera everything first add, I'm adding a light to it by pressing shift a and next a plane so that we can see the shadows or the reflection clearly okay, scale it down and grab it a little bit next select the bottle and add a new material to it go to the material press new and instead of principal bsdf select glass bsdf and you can change its color and you can decrease its roughness so that it will get transparent for the better look I'm adding a, an area light to it so it will be easy to see the transparency of the glass rotate it and adjust it like this and you can see the dropper inside the bottle clearly so yeah we have you can also change the color of this inside material from here as I said you can do experiment with these properties increase decrease if you decrease this alpha value it will get transparent if you increase it you can see the difference see okay next adjust this okay now instead of this I'm adding a spotlight by pressing shift a add the spotlight and decrease its size scale it down and rotate adjust it grab it a little like this and then we'll increase its power to 500 watt rotate it and you can see its shadow if you decrease its radius it will get sharp but I don't want that sharp shadow so increase its radius you can see this light color you can adjust it to whatever color you like you can change it from here but I keep it little bright you can also adjust this inside material color like this next we'll add an area light for some reflection on the glass scale it down and rotate it it's a little difficult to adjust the light so I'm opening a new viewport from here and okay first we'll add a camera to it and adjust it for adjusting the camera press ctrl alt number zero and if you want to adjust it from your camera view press and open the properties go to view and select camera to view now you can adjust the camera from your view okay adjust it like this again open another viewport press 0 to 
come out of the camera view adjust the slide like this okay now i'm turning off it because i already set the camera i'm zooming it and adjust the light and you can see the reflection over here on the glass it looks so messy so i'm turning off these overlays adding some planes like this but it not seems good over here so rotate it you can do experiments with this but for now i'm deleting this and next for the plane i'm adjusting these values I'm decreasing its roughness value so that will get some reflection on the floor. Next, I'm adding a plane on the back side and add some new material to it. If I set a bl set black, it seems too dark. Okay, I'm keeping it a little light. Yellow seems good. then we'll render our image but before rendering i'm going to do some render settings we'll change its resolution if you keep it 102 you can see the frame size or resolution but for now i'm keeping it 2k and here's the you can select the folder in which you want to save the image and then here is our render engine keep it cycles for more realistic view Then check this these these denoise button and you can keep your background transparent too you can see this then we'll go to the color management and here I'm changing it to filmic and look to very high contrast. Then we'll go to the render image and here we have rendered our image. So hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.